time. Would you believe me if I told you one of the greatest inventors teacher thought that it wasn't worthwhile keeping him in school? Well, little did that teacher know that this student's inventions would change the world forever. Yes, in this video, I'll be telling you the story of Thomas Edison, whose inventions still influence our lives. He's not in this world today, but his last breath still is. Stay tuned to find out how and where. This story starts in Milan, Ohio, in America, where Thomas Edison was born on the 11th of February, 1847. He grew up in Port Huron in Michigan, where his family moved in 1854. He was the seventh and last child of Nancy and Samuel Edison. Surprisingly, when he went to school, Thomas Edison was considered too difficult as a child by his teacher. So only after being three months in the school, his mother pulled him out after his teacher called him adult or mentally ill. He was then homeschooled by his mother, who used to be a school teacher. He was a very curious child. He learnt many things by reading on his own. He was only 10 years old when he set up his own laboratory in the basement of his family's house and spent hours working on experiments. As a child, Edison had hearing difficulties in both ears. As he grew older, Edison became completely deaf in his left ear and 80% deaf in his right ear. At around the age of 12, Edison took the job of selling vegetables, candy and newspapers on a train. He set up a printing press in a train baggage car and began publishing his own newspaper called the Grand Trunk Herald. Not just that, but he also set up a small chemistry lab in the baggage car. But during one of his experiments, there was an accidental fire which stopped him doing experiments on board. When Edison was 15, he saved the life of a three-year-old child, Jimmy McKenzie, from getting hit by a running train. The child's father was so thankful to Edison that he trained him on how to operate a telegraph. This led to Edison getting a job as a telegraph operator. Next few years, he worked as a telegrapher for various companies. And on the side, he spent a lot of time on scientific experiments. At the age of 16, Edison made his first invention called the automatic repeater. It sent telegraph signals quickly between unmanned stations. But Edison never patented this invention. His first invention to receive a patent was the electric vote recorder, which was designed to count votes. That was in June 1869 when he was 22 years old. However, nobody wanted it. That's when he decided in the future he wasn't going to waste time inventing things that nobody wanted. Edison's first lucrative product, which fetched him a good deal of money, was a stock ticket device and a quadruplex telegraph. In 1876, when he was 29, Edison opened a research laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey, where he had lots of people working for him to develop and test his inventions. The site later became known as an invention factory. This was also the world's first industrial research laboratory. In 1877, Edison invented the phonograph, the machine that could record and play sound. In its later forms, it was called a gramophone or a record player. Any guesses? What were the first words that he spoke into the phonograph's mouthpiece? Let me give you a hint. <laughs> you got it. Mary had a little lamb. The phonograph invention brought him worldwide fame. It almost appeared magical to the people and Edison became known as the Wizard of Melno Park. A genius he was. One of the other best known inventions of Edison is the electric light bulb. Although Edison was the inventor of the first light bulb, he created a bulb that could burn for a good amount of time and had a gentle light so it could be used in domestic homes. Edison and his team worked on improving the filament from the previous bulb invention. 
they tried thousands of materials. And by October 1879, Edison had created an electric lamp with a carbon filament that could last for more than 13 hours. Edison and his team continued to experiment with the filament and after several months, they found a carbonized bamboo filament which could last over 1200 hours. He also developed an electrical power distribution system so homes could get electricity to power them. In September 1882, Edison's Pearl Street Station started generating electricity, serving customers in Lower Manhattan. Other famous inventions from Thomas Edison include Carbon Telephone Transmitter. Transmitter is another word for the telephone's microphone. This invention was a great improvement on Alexander Graham Bell's work for the telephone and made possible to transmit voices at higher volume and greater clarity. Motion picture camera or kinetograph which recorded and replayed images and a kinetoscope a single person people movie viewer so people could watch short films. First commercially available fluoroscope a machine that uses x-rays to take images, rechargeable batteries, and a lot more. Edison acquired 1,093 patents for his inventions, a record number of patents any person has ever had. About his personal life, in 1871, when he was 24, Edison married 16-year-old Mary Stilwell, who was his employee. During their 13-year marriage, they had three children. In 1884, Mary died at the age of 29. And two years later, when he was 39, Edison married his second wife, Mina Miller. Mina Miller, who was then 20. Edison and Mina also had three children. Edison lived until he was 84. He died of complications of diabetes on October the 18th, 1931, at his estate. Glenmont in West Orange, New Jersey. And Edison's last breath is reportedly contained in a test tube housed at the Henry Ford Museum. Thomas Edison was Henry Ford's hero and a friend. Henry Ford, the founder of the Ford Motor Company. The story goes that Ford asked Edison's son Charles to catch his last breath in a test tube. And it is said that while Edison lay dying, there were a series of test tubes near his bed, which were immediately sealed after his passing, and one of them was given to Mr. Ford as a memento. The test tube stands as a touching gift of friendship from one inventor to the other. That's all for the story of Thomas Edison. Hope you guys enjoyed and picked up some life lessons from it. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. See you soon with another inspiring story. Till then, take good care of yourself.